This program is designed to introduce the CNC, which is Computer Numerical Controls, to adult basic ed and English language learner, learners so that they are motivated to continue in the program. We're not waiting for them to build up their skills, but they're building up their skills while learning a trade. So as some people are learning math, they're applying it directly to what they will need to be CNC operators. As the English language learners are learning vocabulary, they're applying those words directly to what they need on the job. So this is the beauty of this program. They're getting an early taste as to what the career is about, but they're also building their skills at the same time. And hopefully that's enough to uh, convince them to continue, get their certificates, get their diplomas, and then be ready for employment. The demand is, is great right now. There's a lot of um, companies that are hiring right now. As a matter of a fact, I could probably fill 300 jobs right now just in the local community. Our business is up uh, over 50% of what it was last year already, so uh, our industry is definitely going up. Uh, all of our customers, their industries are up. Um, so from what we're seeing, uh, business is definitely on the rise. This program means that we should be able to attain uh, skilled workers in our, in our needs, you know, to fill our workforce and uh, help us along and, and help us grow. Gateway has been around for a long time, training people all over uh, the industry, you know, different industries, and uh, they uh, have a proven track record of uh, uh, good success. The way that the classes go is that I come in and that I do a lecture and I do a lecture with PowerPoints and I have a bunch of different techniques that I use to cover the subject matter. And then when I'm done, the uh, support teachers come in and they help with the adult basic education needs and with the English language learner needs. The qualifications are either to have an ABE need, which is adult basic education, and the primary need of that is people without a high school diploma people that didn't graduate high school for some reason or another, that want to get back into the workforce, that want to get back into school, but just can't because they don't have that high school diploma. On the ELL side, there's, uh, there's a, there has to be the language barrier there where they would have trouble speaking in a, in a normal work environment. And with the support instructors, <clears throat> they're learning the language and they're learning the subject matter at the same time. The Gateway to Careers program starts out with a six week safety class. And is what we do is we go over the different machine safety and different techniques and work techniques so that when they do get into the shop, they're in a safe environment. Then comes an eight week blueprint reading class. And this is one of the harder classes that they have. And that's where the support system really kicks in and that's when the support teachers really start helping out a lot. Then after that, we go into a CNC intro and a CNC gauging class, and those classes are going to be in the actual machine shop. So they're going to be getting hands-on experience so that when they do get into the CNC program, they're going to be able to mesh right in with the other students that have already completed the regular schooling. Most of the students in the Gateway to Careers program were actually already Gateway students. 50% of them were in the ABE program, Adult Basic Education, and the other 50% were in the ELL programs, English language learners. And with them certain barriers, it's really hard for them to find jobs right now. So is what we offered was the CNC Gateway to Careers program that is funded in part by SC Johnson, which was a grant that they helped us with. And there's some other grants that we're using right now. That helps pay for the first half of the schooling. The second half of the schooling has got to be paid for by the students themselves and there's a couple different ways they can go about that. They can go about getting financial aid, they can go on the couple different payment plans that we have, but the students themselves are responsible for the second half of the program. The support teachers are actually the backbone of this program. I feel that there would be this would be very hard to do without the support teachers because they're the ones that come in and kind of nurture along the people that are struggling because to learn a new language and to learn C and C at the same time, it's a very grueling process. So the support teachers really come in with the, 
with the comfort and the care and the support to help people along with such a, with such a hard task. I really want to put my heart out to the support instructors because they really are the backbone and the heart of this program. Without them, I, this wouldn't succeed. They're putting in all the extra hours with me. They're doing the extra time. They're going the extra mile. And that's really what it takes to help somebody through a, a, a disability of English language learners and the adult basic education. Those are big barriers and it's a very big task to accomplish a CNC education with them barriers and we're doing it. These are students that perhaps would not pursue a career or enter a program so we get this opportunity to bring in students and show them and be their support and encourage them to start a program, study something here at Gateway and uh, have the opportunity for them and it's funny because I had a student tell me so am I really in college? It's like yeah and for them it's the first time taking a college class and for our ELL students many of them don't always feel that they need to have a very high English proficiency and they feel I can't take a college class until I've reached level six and feel and, and speak English very proficient and fluently and maybe for our ABE students GD they feel like need my GD and I need more practice with basic skills so here they come they start a program but they have the support they have the language support they have the basic skill support and the wonderful thing for me is I can see them realizing yeah I can do this we don't need to learn we don't need to know a lot the language or a lot of vocabulary. We only need to figure out what is going on in the blueprint. With our ELL students, I know they're, they're feeling confident because they know they have an ELL instructor. After class, during break, they can come to me with vocabulary. They can come to me for more explanation. Uh, maybe they feel a little bit intimidated to raise their hand and ask but they know they have somebody who will give them the support they need for their specific questions. This class is a very technical class. We had a lot of technical words, but with the help of the teachers, it's, it's more easy for us to understand the language, the vocabulary. The support instructors, they learn right along with us. So um, we have a support day each week, so um, they can help us understand the homework better. If Rich can, cannot translate it to another student, maybe they can do it better. And it, it just mixed perfectly. Because as well as they learning, they helping us learn. Because they explain it, they give us extra worksheets for practice. Um, and they always keep us feeling motivated to stick with it and to finish the class. On a Wednesday, we have our, our full support class where we um, go through the vocabulary. It's not the vocabulary that I have known before this class either, so, so we're all learning together. RSL and I try to stay a step ahead um, and prepare with flashcards, or I put them on, on an online flashcard system so they can drill themselves at home, and just some games with flashcards and then we work on like um, angles, how to calculate tapers, you know all the basic math skills that he doesn't quite go over in the class because he's doing the blueprint reading so we help with the basic things like that. I have been out of school for a long time and I've forgotten certain things so having the teacher explain things over and make things clearer for me. Certain things come back to me and it's easier to understand. And with the help of the support teachers, um, like I said before, you can brainstorm with them and um, go over the problems with them and um, they help you to figure out things if you're not understanding it. I enjoy the learning. I didn't think I'd do very well in math, so it's opened my eyes to more things that I can do, and I'm feeling more confident in myself, 
and I enjoy the teachers very much. They're very helpful. I believe this program will allow me to put my foot in the door to a new job. It'll widen my horizons and anything I want to take beyond that. And um, I can go almost anywhere with this new training. I'm glad I was blessed with this opportunity because this opportunity is, is going to open many doors in my life. It's like, um, because before this, I didn't know what I wanted to do. But then machining came about. I, I got the letter in the mail to come to this class. And since the second day of this class, because the first day I was nervous, I knew this what I wanted to do. I always liked math. Oh, when I was in high school, I, I just was kind of bored with it. I would never go to class, but now I got into this. And it, it seems like it's more challenging, but it's feeding, it's feeding me and I like it and I just keep coming back for more like second helpings, third helpings. I, I just love it. I just love it um, because it stimulates my mind and also is preparing me for a career. It's, it's a very important moment because we know the, the economy is not very good and this is a good moment to, to get a, a training, to, to get a new, new abilities, new skills, with the idea of to get a, a new job. Also, we can improve the English. You know, we can have the, you know, um, more chance to you know, uh, find a better job you know, and uh, have a different position. First, you maybe can uh, work with no position, but uh, after your English get better and uh, you're working a lot in many years, so uh, you can have a supervisor where you also get uh, in, you know, improve everything career or life, yeah, so get a better life. Well, I was hoping to um, hand out some information about our company, and uh, I have applications that I would be willing to hand out to people as well. Give, you know, show some interest. Uh, hopefully, people can, uh, you know, learn about our business, and uh, possibly when they're ready to come looking for work, uh, we'll be there for them. We want our students to get jobs, to support their families, to be in the workforce, to give them the skills needed, and they're seeing that they are able to do this with the right instruction, support they're able to do this.